Well, what is up everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, in today's video, um, as you can see behind me, I had bought a Rolls Royce. Yes, sir. My brand new car, brand new car. Now, let's be honest, you would not expect someone like me to have a car like this. Now, um, I have been wanting a Rolls Royce for a long time now, and I just got it yesterday, I want to say. I got in it yesterday. Now, I love pickup trucks. Pickup trucks can do a lot of off-roading. Now, here's the thing. Can the Rolls Royce do the exact same thing as some of my pickup trucks, right? We're going to see if a Rolls Royce is worthy of being uh, just as powerful as a pickup truck and can do maybe more things than a pickup truck. Now, the pickup truck we're gonna be using, which is my main vehicle that I mainly drive around, is uh, my Ford. Now, um, although I do like this Ford and it has done me very uh, well, let's be honest, Fords are not as powerful. I think 2017 was their best year, though. I really do think 2017 was their best year. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna see if that if well, it's not there right now. But we're gonna see if uh, the Rolls Royce is better than my pickup truck, and we're gonna see if it's worth about the 560 grand that I bought it for. At least I think it was 560 grand. Hold on, I need to. I need to check this real quick. 530 grand is what I paid for it. But you know, that uh, $530,000 is still a lot of money, and you expect for that vehicle to last a long time. So this is a good, uh, oh, uh, this is a good time to, uh, you know, see if it's worth it to spend $530 on a Rolls Royce. Without further ado, if you do like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. and Comment what you want me to do in the description below. Always looking at your suggestions. And I'm not going to talk any longer. Let's get right into testing. Now, the first thing you want to know when you buy a $530,000 car, as you do... Uh, is you want to make sure that it can do donuts because that's what you do in a vehicle like this is just do donuts. That's the main purpose. Maybe. I think. That's up to you. You can decide that. Not me. You. Anyways, so we are going to put it in semi three traction control off and let's let her rip. Let's see here. Alrighty. Oh, it actually does donuts really well. It does donuts really well. Hold up. That's crazy. Now let's say now let's say you want to do a burnout after your donut, right? As you do in your Rolls Royce, right? So we're just gonna Oh wow. That's crazy. That was that was actually really cool. It's really good at doing burnouts and donuts. That's really really cool. Alrighty, so now let's go test the speed. But first, we need to see if the blinkers are worthy of five hundred. I'm at E. That's crazy. I didn't even realize that. Anyways, let's see if the blinkers are worthy five hundred and sixty grand or thirty. Okay, so those are the front blinkers. Right, they have the little blinkers down here. Back blinkers, pretty nice. Uh, one small detail that I did not realize this thing had was that if you change your uh change your rims, it still has the symbol uh on the uh wheels. Usually, when you change your rims, because these are not the rims that you get on this car, I went into the uh, tires plus and got these. Um, these, these are not the normal rims, so they actually keep the decal for the car, which not a lot of other cars do. One thing that I did not know until I bought the car, like, I had never known this, was that the light is actually right here. You can tell I, I never mess with luxury cars before, but you can, I did not know it had the light until I turned on my blinker and wondered what was, uh, the little flashing light. 
And then it also has its symbol. There's its symbol there. You can't see it, but there's a little uh, person right there. Pretty cool. And then the symbol right there. And yeah, it, it's really, really cool looking. I also like this car because if you actually get out of the car and have your lights on automatic, they stay on. Some cars, they just still turn off. Uh, so this would be really cool for like photo shoots at night and stuff. Alrighty. So now let's, I guess, let's go do speed test. But let's say, let's say, let's say Whistling Diesel comes, comes down the road with his Monster Max, right? You got to stop all of a sudden, right? You need to honk at him to make sure he understands that you're there, right? So let's just be like, oh, crap. You know what I'm saying? You think that you think they'll stop him? He'd probably still run you over, but at least you honk. And if you live through being crushed, then, you know, you can sue him, maybe. I don't know. That's for you to decide, not me. That's a you problem, not a me problem. Alrighty, so now let's test uh, speed. So it says it can go 140. I'm going to say it goes 145 miles an hour. All right, in one, two, three, four, five. Acceleration is not that bad. Sorry, acceleration. Whoops. One hundred and forty-two miles an hour. Now let's say um, there's a child in the road, right? And you're going one hundred and forty-two miles an hour down the road as you do. You need to stop. So stop. Okay. I mean, the acceleration was not bad. The braking was not horrible, but it could be better we also got to remember that this thing is made for just driving around not racing and stuff so i mean not bad for a luxury car oh i'm also out of gas so now i gotta now i have to walk my happy self over to the gas station to fill it up look at it it's sad that i'm leaving you can see the sad face in it, I think. Maybe. You tell me if you see a sad face. Alrighty, it was a long journey, but we finally got back. And now, hey, this is perfect. Now we can see how many, uh, well, we can't really see how many gallons it takes, but we can see how much it costs to fill the tank. So let's see here. Let's see what the gas prices are like in uh, Greenville. It's $4 a gallon, which is expensive it's expensive 80 dollars 20 gallons of fuel 80 dollars not bad so now that we have filled our uh rolls royce um let's say you're gonna you're gonna go down a snowy road because uh from my time driving this thing it is not really good at actually keeping traction in snowy conditions and i'll show you what i mean so let's say we're gonna go on the snow right over here you just it was doing it see maybe that was because i hit the curb but like it always it actually okay it's actually having good traction on the snow It has really good traction on the snow, actually. Hold on, I want to see if I can do a burn... Because this thing will not do a burnout on pavement, so I wonder if it will do a burnout on the snow. Let's see here. Hold up, hold up. No, it won't... Oh, wait, I'm doing that wrong. Hold on. You have to go... Okay, now we can do it. That, that's my bad. Okay. I mean, I went there for a second. So, yeah. 
I guess the only way to really do a burnout in this car is by doing donuts first. Because if you, uh, if you try to do anything, oh, well, it didn't even, that's weird. Hold up. Oh, it won't go. It won't go. What in the world? Hold on a second. It might just be the pavement. Yep, it's the pavement. Uh, you can only do donuts with this car on there. You can't do donuts anywhere else. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out something else to test with this thing. Maybe suspension. Oh, I got the perfect idea. It's not a good idea. But it's a good idea, if that makes sense. Let's just say it's a good idea, but it's a horrible idea. Let's just say it's an idea that should not be attempted, but I'm going to anyways. Now, let's say, as you do in your Rolls Royce, let's say you all of a sudden wanted to just go drive on the ice. How would your car handle it? Well, we're going to figure that out ourselves. Here we are. Oh. Oh, almost lost traction. Oh, God. Oh, good. There's a bridge. There's a bridge. Okay, let's say you want to go back on the road. Oh, it was so close, too. It was so close. Okay, let's say you want to get back up, right? Um, It's not doing it. Hold on. I wonder if my truck will do it. Hold up. Oh. Car's still committing. The car's still going. Car's still committing to get back up on the on the thing. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, um, I wonder if my truck will actually be able to make it up. I doubt it will. Considering that I. Okay, yeah. So my truck will do it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. In fact, I kind of want to test the flex on this truck real quick. Hold up. Let's see here. Ah! Perfect. Now, here's what I mean. When you step out, the lights don't stay on, even though I have it on automatic. So it's annoying. Look at that. Holy schmoly. <laughs> Oh, good God. The things I do to my vehicles is just horrendous. You know, this really is not a bad car, you know? I think I'm going to take really good care of it. I think I'm going to cherish this car, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure it stays as nice as possible because, you know, a car like this deserves your love, right? You know what I'm saying? And I think, like, this car is going to be a really good... uh vehicle for many people uh to drive throughout the years because i'm going to take such good care of this car now taking such good care of this car means a lot of responsibility but you know i think i'm responsible enough for that responsibility to be able to just take care of the car as it needs to be taken care of and uh not be reckoned with because i'm going to take care of the car and it's just, you know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Oh, 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 we're on the lake. I didn't even realize this. Alrighty, y'all. So I think that's going to be the video for today. I am going to try to record another video today. That way I can just make content out for y'all since I haven't recorded for an entire week. I mean, I have recorded. It's just half of my recordings uh, went to the trash. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I want to say thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. Please consider liking and subscribing and comment down in the comment section what you want me to do next. I'm always looking at y'all's suggestions and I'm always interacting with y'all, always liking y'all's comments. Yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. Um, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? $530,000. Is it worth it? Um, I, I guess so. I mean, let, let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest here. The, this is a luxury car. It's from a brand very expensive. 
Um, I think it would be more worth it if it had an actual interior, but I know like that's really hard to do in a game, so I'm not going to complain about that. Um, one thing that I do wish was better, and I think it was, it's a small thing. It's me being, uh, the, the back tail light right here, dude, looks so outdated from everything else. Um, other than that, I really don't see a problem with anything else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I, I definitely do think it's, uh, for the most part, worth it. If you are looking, uh, for a vehicle like me to off-road, um, yeah, this is not the car for you, dude. This will not get you anywhere. I would rather much get a Ford to do what you need to do. But anyways, y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next one, and goodbye.